What's up guys? Back at surf fishing, what I love to do, and that's my passion right there. Sun's about to come up, it's about 6.45 in the morning. We're gonna be using croaker, shrimp, and fish bites today, and whatever we catch as cut bait. So hopefully we'll catch some today. The sun's about to pop up out of the ocean. Check that out. Pretty freaking cool, man. Get a moment of silence for all the fishermen that are no longer with us. This is dedicated to you guys. It's a beautiful day out here. Nice, cool temperature, probably about 68 degrees. Loving it, man. All right, let's get her done. Just the waves. That little croaker is running now. Lots of grass out of here, guys. Almost every freaking cast I'm getting grass. A lot of freaking seaweed on here. If this is the way it's going to be, guys, I don't have to move into the bay. Because I don't play with seaweed, and it looks like that's what it is. A ton of it. Keep getting this. This ain't going to work. Look at all that damn seaweed. That's ridiculous. We keep getting this seaweed all over my line. I'm gonna to have to move back into the bays because it's not gonna be worth fishing. There's just way too much of it out here. And the current for some damn reason today is bad. I've got a five ounce weight on there and it took my line way over there. I'm gonna give it probably another 20 minutes, reel this one in, see if there's a bunch of seaweed on it. And then we'll just pack up and run either to Charlie's pasture or back where I like to go fishing back in the bay. 20 minutes later. here at Charlie's Pasture. That surf was just way too bad. Too much seaweed for me, guys. So I'm gonna try to catch something here. If not here, move somewhere else. But there's something missing behind me. The last oil rig, there used to be three of them that was sitting over there. And then the last time I brought my mom here, there was only one left. So they must have moved that out this past week. We're gonna see if we can catch maybe a redfish or I don't know, trout. I doubt I'll see, get any trout in here, but probably a redfish or something like that. Wave just came over here from the boat just a minute ago. So I guess my Jeep's fine. A little water got right there. For those of you guys that don't know where Charlie's Pasture is, if you're coming from Aransas Pass, you get on the ferry. As soon as you get off the ferry, you take immediate right. But anyway, you come down that road right there to get to Charlie's Pasture. It's just right where the ferry entrance is. If you're leaving from Port Aransas to get on the ferry, you actually take, you're on that road that goes to Charlie's Pasture. All right, let's throw a couple of rod and reels in, see what happens. Got three poles out, all of them with live croaker. These two here, I've got them down on the bottom. This pole, I just got a one croaker free lined on a small hook. See if we can catch something, I don't know, man. Birds are over there waiting for me to catch something. 
Can't wait till another ship comes by here so you guys can see just how big these waves are that come through here. They're pretty damn big. The wake that comes off these boats. We're gonna try some dead shrimp. Dead fresh shrimp. Just on one hook. Usually I use pompano rigs, but here lately I've just been using one hook. I believe I got a fish, guys. Yep. Yeah. Off the live shrimp. And it is a croaker. I don't know what it is with the damn croakers here lately. But it'll be good bait. So we're gonna put live shrimp on this, I mean dead shrimp on this, and cast it out there and see what we can get. <clears throat> uh oh, I got a bite on that other pole. Oh shoot, that thing is bending. I need to get over the, damn. He's on there. All right, let's set the hook. Oh shit, he's taking drag. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Love that sound, guys. No. Shoot, he's spinning me out. Holy cow. He's gonna reel me out, man. He's gonna spin me out. Damn. This is a good one, guys, whatever it is. He's almost got me reeled out, though. Shit. He's reeling it out. Damn, stop, 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 stop. This is a big one, and he's gonna spin me out, man. Damn. This is a good one. Shit. Damn. I gotta get this thing reeled in. Stop, 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 stop. Damn. This is gonna be a fight, guys. It's gonna be a long fight. Whatever the hell it is. I can see him topping the water over there. This was a big fish, man. This is a big fish, guys. Holy cow, probably the biggest one I've ever caught down here. And I've seen him top the water over there. But I'm glad I have my drag set. And this was off dead shrimp. This is a freaking sea beast here, man. It's a monster. Damn. Hopefully you don't get up against the wall. This is a monster, guys. He's still taking it. Damn, he's way the hell down there. I gotta tighten my drag up a little bit more. He's a monster, man, oh man, oh man. Fuck. Damn. 
Damn, guys, this thing is a monster. He's huge. Damn, look at the size of that thing, guys. Damn. Shit. I need a net. You got one? I appreciate it. This thing took me a while. Oh man, I thought he was gonna reel all the line out. Oh my goodness. I don't know if it's gonna fit in here. Might need a bigger net, huh? <laughs> Golly. That's a big red, man. Can we, will the weight, will the line hold him? I doubt it. He's too big. Right, if you on. can get his head somehow. Hang on, I got something else. Got him? Oh yeah. Hell yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> Dude, I thought he was gonna spool me out. We're I was getting right. We're watching you, we're watching you. I mean, he was way over there. That's beautiful. Oh my God. That's a good dinner right there. Yeah. This is what beef from? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been just farting around watching you. It's been interesting. I went to the surf this morning. There was so much seaweed. I, I just gave up. I said, well, should I go to Charlie's Pasture or go over to the bay where I go? And I said, well, I'm going to go to Charlie's Pasture. But I didn't expect this off shrimp. Here comes that wave. Oh. Got him. Yeah. Mind if I lay him on the tailgate and take a little picture with That's you real fine. quick? That's fine. I'm thinking going with you holding him up close to you because there's no, like you were using your front oh. perspective. It's right at 28.
here is a little hummingbird in my garage right after I clean that fish. There you go. I just got done cleaning that fish, man. That was a big fish. So it measured like 28 inches, 27 and a half, so I call it 28 inches. Um, I don't know how many pounds it is. It's got to be like 25, 30 pounds. It was huge. It, it was hard to get in. I'm not going to lie to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to smoke it up. I've already got it. A lot of it cut already. Some of it I left the skin on. We do redfish on the half shell. But I'm going to smoke it mesquite and uh, put, some lime, or put some lime and stuff like that on it. All right, let's get smoking it. That's a mess of freaking food, guys. You got your redfish there, your vegetables, and your cheddar cheese mashed potatoes. This is gonna be really good, I'll tell you that. See if it's good. I really don't care for big, big, big fish. All right, first bite, right here. Not bad. Almost tastes like chicken. So it's not too bad. Mmm. Yeah. I like trout better. Oh, I gotta eat all this. It'll be fun. Thumbs up on it. Not as good as trout, but it's pretty good. That was one hell of a fight, man. And got them on my brand spanking new um, Pen Battle 3 5000 limited edition. That was sweet. And that line, that was 30 pound braided, I believe. The blue braided, and it held up. But I knew there was no way that I was going to pull him up over the wall with that line. So it was pretty cool. I appreciate you guys watching this video. And um, hit that like, subscribe button. Appreciate it, guys. Peace.